welcome to another quick tip video for assignmentsystamp.com. Today I'm going to show you a really quick way to make small pinwheel paper embellishments for your cards or other projects. I think these in particular would be really, really cute on top of presents or gifts for the holidays, so I thought I'd go ahead and show those to you today. I have two pieces of pattern paper. This is double-sided pattern paper. This is from a 6x6 pad from my mind's eye. It's this the 6x6 pad in particular, the all is bright 6x6 pad. If you use paper that is not double sided, this would be a great opportunity to stamp on the blank side because both sides of the paper will be shown. I started with a square that's three and three quarters wide by three and three quarters tall, and this one is four and a half tall and four and a half wide. So exact squares. What I'm doing, I'm going to show you on this large one first, is you're going to take a ruler and you're going to find the center of the square. So I've got a pen here and the center is not going to show so I'm just going to mark right there and while I have that line there I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut a line. You want to leave just the center blank but I'm just going to cut a line right there, cut a line right there. You want to keep the center kind of by itself. So I'll turn it this direction and I'm going to do the same on this side. And normally you would just mark the center and then go ahead and go back and cut your lines. But since we've got that ruler there, we're going to multitask and be more efficient and make all those cuts at the right time. All right, so now that I have all of those, I'm going to go around with this little paper piercer right here. First, I'm going to poke a hole right in the center. I made that little X, I'm just going to poke a hole. And then I'm going to take each one of these, and if I'm going to poke a hole on this side, I'm going to skip this one and go to this one over here. So I'm going to poke a little hole right up near, just like that, so there's a little hole. And now I'll come to this one right over here, and I'm going to poke another hole. This is going to make it so that we don't have to deal with any adhesive when we're pulling our pinwheel together. All right, so you're going to have four poked holes and then one in the middle. I'm taking a little tiny mini brad, and what I'm, I'm actually going to have this come in from the opposite side. My little brad. I'm going to fold these in, and they're going to go right down onto that brad. So I'll turn this direction, and I'll take the folded up poked area. I'll put that right down onto the brad. I'll bring this one up as well. and then this one up. All right, now that everything's brought into the center, I'm gonna go ahead and push down those prongs on the brad. And that's gonna hold everything in place, and I didn't use any adhesive. To finish off the pinwheel, you're gonna to wanna to put something in the center, maybe a punched heart or a punched circle, anything like that. I'm gonna show you with this smaller version as well, with the small paper. Now, this one is a little bit too big for a card, but you could definitely put it on a gift. This one will be a little bit more card-sized. Just put a little bit of foam adhesive on that one side. Just put that right there in the center. I'll do that with this little punch circle as well. All right, so there are some really simple pinwheels. So I hope that gave you an idea of how you can make some pinwheels for your projects. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.